All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's coming back today with another review, and we're looking to look at the uh, new addition to me that I showed in a previous video, Guns and Ammo Score video, uh, the Springfield V10 Ultra Compact and 45 ACP. Let's go ahead and safety check the weapon, remove the magazine. You can see, see it is, is unloaded. So I got this in a trade recently, and I've uh, been shooting it, loving it. Um, going to roll in some shooting footage here in a little bit when I first got it, uh, but it's been 100% reliable. I uh, did have one malfunction that I know was magazine related, but which is pretty common with 1911s. Um, but they originally came with these grips, and there's another reason I'm doing this video. I had the hog grips on there like you'll see in me shooting. The benefit of these grips is they're super comfortable, um, and they any kind of recoil, they help absorb that a little bit, and they've got these nice finger swells, but they make the grip a little bit thicker. And plus, the cool thing about 1911s is you can customize them. So I got these grips um, from an eBay seller. I'll actually put a link to his uh, store. He makes a ton of different 1911 grips, and they're made out of G10, which is really cool. So they're uh, you know kind of the same kind of material knife, like my Kershaw here, Z10, Z10, <laughs> uh, made out of G10. This is all G also G10. Gives you a really nice grip. Uh, and they're also it's also very durable material, so plus they just look badass. So <laughs> love them. Um, they had, had a bunch of different designs, and he kind of tailors them to your gun. This is a um, this is an ultra contact, but it's got a a, a, a officer size um, or commander, whatever they call them, size frame. You know, it's got the smaller frame than the full size 1911s, and it has a magwell as well, which is um, not all of these V10s have magwells. This one does. So he had them custom, but these things fit like perfect. They went right on, no issues at all. He used the factory um, uh, screws and mounting um, bushings and everything. So just easy, makes the gun look pretty sick. Um, I went with the, I think he calls this the Arctic Camo. And it really matched the two-tone, because this is like a blue plus the stainless. So it's kind of a two-tone look. So I thought it matched it really well. It just made it look awesome. but. So that's new grips, but uh, this video is also about the gun, and really been loving it. Um, these guns are pretty rare these days. They're hard to find. They're no longer made. They were only made for like a two-year period, and you know some people. Um, I don't know why they weren't very popular. Maybe they were. Springfield stopped making them. God, I'll smack that camera with my hand. Mainly because the ports on the barrel, I think, is why people. Um, maybe they weren't as popular. I don't know. The ports help a ton, though. And you'll see in the shooting um, how much, how little muzzle flip this has for a 45 in this small of a frame. Um, it's got, I mean, it's a pretty heavy gun. Weighs in. This is no magazine unloaded. Just over two pounds. So it's full steel frame construction. So it's going to handle recoil but okay anyway, but this size gun with 45 is, you know, with those with those ports, got five ports on each side, and it really helps uh, with the recoil. I mean, this thing feels like shooting a 9mm, so it's great. Uh, the ports are cool too, they, they throw a nice little muzzle flash at you. Um, but what's cool is they don't they don't actually affect your side pitcher, maybe it will pitch black at night it probably would, but in the daytime it's not an issue at all. This gun's been very accurate, um, it did shoot a little low. I think I'm just getting used to the sights of it. They're a little different than what I'm used to. Um, and th this has got an adjustable rear sight, but the front sight is um, fixed into the, and I painted the red on there. Um, it's fixed to the to the frame um, because of those ports and such. So that's one thing you have to deal with. But it shoots, it's an accurate handgun. It shoots very, very good, um, like a 1911 should. It's got a sweet trigger. And again, this gun is unloaded, so I'm just going to show you, but just watch how quick, and I'll hear the audible click. Just, you know, short, short, short trigger, no, not a lot of travel. Your reset's that short. You're good. And, you know, single action, 1911s. What can you say about them? They all have pretty sweet triggers, but this one is really good. And it's got, you know, the skeletonized trigger, the uh, extended beaver tail. You know, some of these features are a little bit extra, typically, on 1911s. This one came with it, the Magwell. Uh, came with two of these six-round Springfield mags. Um, I'm assuming they're Springfield mags. I don't see any kind of manufacturing anywhere on them. 
they've been functioning flawlessly. Uh, they're six rounders. They also fit seven rounders. I've got a Chip McCormick seven round shooting star mag that's been functioning flawlessly, and a Magar uh, eight round mag, which is also functioning flawlessly. Um, the hiccup was actually in one of these sprinkle mags I take it, and I've actually marked it so I know. But it's the only time it's done it, and it it failed. It fired the round. It just didn't um, fully eject it. So, and it was the last round, so it's kind of weird. Um, but you know, this will take any kind of standard 1911 mags. I'm gonna probably grab some Wilson Combats for it. But I want to do, run the seven rounders. It's got this mag well, so these fit. Um, they don't fit flush. They fit you know in a little bit like that and. Rather have a little more flush. I think the seven rounders will give me that. So, really enjoying this gun. Um, <clears throat> been a blast to shoot. Gonna roll in some shooting video here in a sec, but it's just a it's a good looking gun. Um, kind of new to 1911s, so I'm not you know um, any kind of expert or anything on 1911s. But I've had one other. I had a Rock Island, and it was in nine millimeter actually. Um, so this is my first 45 ACP handgun at all. Um, Springfield Armory. It has the Brazil and the United States on here, so I'm not sure if it was made in Brazil, but I thought this was pretty cool. Let's see if I can get this to focus. It says Danger Exhaust Ports Read Manual. <laughs> SA45 Auto. Um, but honestly, the exhaust ports are awesome because they really help tame the recoil, and they don't. I've shot a couple hundred rounds for this gun without any issues, and it doesn't really affect your sight, doesn't affect how you aim. It just you know helps with the recoil, so. I don't know. Have your opinion on porter barrels? I think it looks awesome, and I've actually carried this gun a few times. Um, had some holsters that actually fit it, which is kind of nice. And I've carried it around, and you know I feel very comfortable with this gun. It's never malfunctioned. It's been very accurate. Um, feds, it feeds hollow points, no problems. I've tried some of these Federal Hydro Shocks, which is a nasty, nasty round. There's some good videos out there. Check out Tennessee Outdoors channel. He has a nice video on these hider shocks and how well they penetrate and kind of wound channel they made. They're pretty nasty stuff. So, feeds hollow points, no problems. Feeds the FMJs. Um, so, the mags I have are, are good mags. They work. I know it's kind of one of the things about 1911s is sometimes you get some crappy mags and then people think they're crappy on our level pistols, which they're not at all. It's a lot of it has to do with the magazine. And the same can be said with any kind of uh, handgun. So, all right, we're going to roll in the shooting footage now and we'll come back. The tabletop. All right, here's the other new piece we just acquired in the trade. This is a Springfield V10 Ultra Compact 45 single stack 1911 ported barrels. Jeez, I'm probably not even holding. It. I'm holding it to the viewfinder, not the camera lens. Ported barrel. It's supposed to help quite a bit with the recoil, and it's an Ultra Compact. It's got these super comfy hole grips. First time shooting this one. See how we do. I'm not a 1911 guy either, so I'm not even sure that went into battery. You know, it helps if you take a check and see if the mag seated properly. Jeez. All right, 45. does on the barrel really helps with that recoil. Get my other mag. See it good. All right, here we go. Seven round mag. I've got an eight round mag here in my pocket. So far, 100% reliability. Smooth trigger. 
I'm telling you, like. For a 45 ACP, that thing does not have bad recoil. Wow. I don't think all 45s are like that. I think that has a lot to do with that barrel porting, but. All right, we're going to pause for a sec, load up some more rounds, and we'll shoot some more. Okay, we're going to shoot about four more magazines. So far, I'm loving it. Smooth as silk. tell you because of that port of barrel and how short it is and the fact that it's a 45 it has some percussion that comes out of the end of that barrel when you shoot it look at that so it you kind of feel it on your face when you shoot it it's not bad it's kind of like if I don't know if you've ever shot a 357 revolver snub nose kind of like that not as pronounced as that though so all right let's load up my remaining rounds but so far I'm really happy with this gun Last six rounds. Again, that's the uh, Springfield, so I don't muzzle myself, V10 Ultra Compact 45. That thing shoots as smooth as a 9mm. It's got those ports, that's why. I mean, you'd, think a, you'd think 45 out of that short barrel would be like punishing, but this was actually a lot nicer to shoot than that Kel-Tec was. So. Alright guys, we might do uh, maybe one more. Um, one more shot. Maybe I'll shoot my uh, SR9 and see how the difference between the recoil. But this is my new. Uh, I'll put some more rounds through it before I start carrying it. But I'm not going to carry it as a concealed gun. It's a little big and bulky and heavy for that. But what I am going to carry this for is when I go up here in the mountains and I go hiking and I take my dog out. Uh, sometimes there's some coyotes, there's some uh, mountain lions, bobcats, stuff like that. That'll take care of one of those, no problem. All right, guys. All right, we're back. You can see uh, after the shooting, I was shooting with the hull grips before. I did shoot them uh, this just a couple days ago. Actually, I didn't film it though. I um, shot with these grips, and they they handled just fine. Um, the hogs were a titch more comfortable to shoot with, but 
these are these slim down the pistol enough, um, and they give you they still give you a nice solid grip on the pistol, a lot of traction. Just slims it down a little bit, which is nicer for carry. So, but overall, really enjoying this pistol. Glad I picked it up. It's very uh, limited. You know, there's no more production of this, and so they're kind of hard to get. And this will be probably one that stays in my collection for a long time because it's just fun. So. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you enjoyed the shooting, a little gun porn, and got a couple new videos coming up. Um, one that's got some serious ammo porn in it that might precede this video, even we'll see. Um, and got a new knife on its way from Blade HQ that's going to be pretty slick to look at as well. So, all right, guys, thanks for, thanks for watching. Put that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.